her spare bedroom to Stan, who was sleeping on the couch, and she turned on the bed again. Wakes up with a jolt, still two hours to midnight, at which time he's due at the north end of the DuPont construction site. Goes into the kitchen, turns on the coffee, and butters burnt toast. Fills his thermos, puts on his steel toes, then nods to his hoe. Who's in the glow of the TV as the front door is closed? Stan still carries a picture of his ex wife from the year he proposed. And a photo of Emma kind of faded is on the dash of his G. Gets in just before sunrise, closes the blinds, and tries to catch some sleep. Tells Emma to be no later than 9 p.m. She looks at the crossword and then digs around in the purse for her pen. She stares at all the bills, the clutter, the kitchen table, the phone, hydro, and a plan for basic cable. Her and Emma haven't even watched the television as of late. Tries to shake it off, goes back to the crossword, but she just can't concentrate. She opens the window, lights a cigarette, and pours another glass of wine. Emma comes in laughing with her friend Justine, about a quarter past nine. She picks up her phone, but before she dies, asks the two girls if they're in the mood for Chinese. Emma just nods her head and smiles. Is the new James Dean? I don't even know who that is. Replies just Dean. But oh, I totally think Ryan's really cute. She's waving her hands while she talks. Yeah, I guess so, replies Emma. But I usually hate jobs. She can't wait to get home and show her mama that she hates the test. Out the window of the bus, listening to Jay Z and Kanye West. She tries to focus on a math homework, but she ends up reading Harry Potter. Just last week at the grocery store, someone recognized her as Stan's daughter. The house is quiet, her mom works weekdays off on weekends. Even at 15, she's been betrayed by the girls. She thought were her friends. <laughs> Funds of love.